It was indeed another disappointing outing on Tuesday as the Nigeria stock market continued its free fall, thereby eroding the gains seen yet to date in the market. At the close of trading, the All Share Index declined further by 2.16% to close at 45,366 basis points. The loss also means 545 billion naira has been shaved off the market value today, which is why our market capitalization ended at 24.7 trillion naira. Moving on, our Airtel Africa, as for the second time this week, topped the league of decliners, pushing the market for the south as it recorded another 162 naira loss from its share price. Meanwhile, on the flip side, financial services stocks dominated the gainers counter. They were, however, led by United Capital PLC and Regency Assurance as they recorded a combined one naira 12 cobol um, increase. Meanwhile, we see the green flags flying in value volume and even deals in the activity charts of the market as 420 million units of shares valued at 3.6 billion naira exchange hands in 3486 deals well it's looking like the bear is here to stay on the market but let's hope that there will be some positive out positive comeback before the week runs out moving on to the global scene the FTSE, the dow jones and the nikkei they are all in the positive territory britain's main equity indexes managed to eke out gains for the fourth straight day on tuesday boosted by the reversal of the government on funded tax cut plans and optimism over the earnings season that boosted u.s stocks that is why the u.s stocks also surged and treasury yields eased as earnings surprised to the upside and robust factory data for the investors risk appetite and japan stocks nikkei is also recording a 1.42 percent increase at the close of trading